Why do bad things happen to good people? This question lies at the center of our Christian faith. Everything we believe arises from this question. Why did the worst possible evil happen to the best possible person? Think about it. The cross is the greatest act of evil that ever could occur. It's the greatest amount of suffering and the greatest injustice. And Jesus is the perfect son of God. So everything we believe as Christians arises from this fact that the greatest possible evil happened to the greatest possible person. And think about it. We know the reason for the cross, don't we? We know exactly why Jesus died. So if we know the reason for the greatest amount of evil that ever could occur, we can trust God with the lesser though real tragedies. Jesus died to save us from our sins. That means, of course, that we're not good people. Maybe a better question is not, why do bad things happen to good people, but why do good things happen to bad people? I'm not saying that we deserve cancer or divorce or to lose our job. It's actually worse than that. We deserve hell. So when terrible things happen to us, we do cry out in lament. We do cry out in pain. Why, God? Why have you forsaken me? We follow Jesus' example. We also follow his next phrase. We lament, we cry out to God, but then we come back with faith. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit.